Randy Vance. I'm on Ranger's brand new 2510 Bay. Now this boat is just under 25 feet. It's equipped for great inshore fishing and it's got the power with this Mercury Verado 350 on it to sneak offshore on a great day. Now with 350 horsepower on board, you get almost three miles per gallon. That's 270 miles range. That gives you plenty of fishing power all in one stop. One of the things that we found about the Ranger 2510 Bay is it likes just a little bit of trim and a little bit of down tap. You get it trimmed out running flat on the water and it skims over the chop with a great smooth ride. Now we've got active trim on this which automatically sets the trim settings for the RPM that you're running. The boat's also equipped with a jack plate to give you better angles on shallow running and to get better speed by lifting the gear case up. Now this boat's equipped with a Riptide Ultera trolling motor. This is the motor that's got spot lock and autopilot on it that'll control the boat while you fish. We're also equipped with two power poles and those are both remotely operated so that you can set the boat exactly where you want it. Now the heartbeat of any fishing boat is the live well and this one has an enormous well. It's got two fill pumps that bring in fresh water and a recirculation pump. There's plenty of capacity there but on the stern port side, you've also got a crustacean well, and that gives you still another live well option. On the starboard side, you've got dry storage, tackle storage on the starboard bulkhead, and you've got raw water on the port side bulkhead. Now, the thing I like the best about this is the casting deck converts into an extra wide jump seat. Flip up the lid, you got a great place for a couple of passengers to sit and recline while you're getting to the fishing grounds. Then lift up the seat bottom and you've got easy access to the bilge so you can maintain pumps, valves and other plumbing and electrical functions. And just as easily, it stows away and you're ready to fish. Now the helm is set up perfectly for offshore travel and inshore fishing. We've got room here for dual 12 inch Raymarine Axiom Pros and this has everything on it for sonar, side view, down vision and 3D. You've also got the vessel view gauge here You've got active trim, which automatically trims your motors, jack plate, and trim tab controls all within easy reach. There's a USB and auxiliary input to the left of the helm, and above is the electronics box, which is a great place for your VHF radio and an audio system. Now the leaning post station is really comfortable. First, you've got two flip-up bolsters, and that's the way I drive the boat. But you can slide them down. You've got two comfortable seats. Fold down the armrests, and you've got a nice secure ride fold them back up for easy in and out. Now when I'm using the leaning post, I'll also brace my foot on the step at the console. If you're getting on the boat early in the day, you've got overhead lights, LED lights. By flicking the switch a couple of times, you can change the colors. It's a nice soft glow. We've also got rear and front spreader lights, which help you illuminate the cockpit while you're fishing or cleaning up at the end of a long day. Now the foredeck is where all the fishing action is going to happen. You've got an easy step up to the casting deck. Underneath that step is an enormous cooler. Your center locker is great for dry storage, but it can also double as a fish box that drains overboard just by gravity. To the starboard, you've got a rod locker with butt hangers to keep your rods sorted out, and another one on the port side. The Ranger 2510 Bay is equipped with the power ventilation rod storage system. That's two ventilation fans that blow air through the rod lockers to quickly dry your tackle. Now the anchor locker forward holds a fluke anchor, plenty of rope and chain, and you'll also find the plug-in for the trolling motor underneath, tucked out of the way of the weather. You've even got dedicated storage for your net bucket. For fishing, you've got rod holders just about everywhere you look. There's three on each gunnel. You've got two shotgun rod holders in the transom. You've got six rocket launchers up in the hard top, kingfish rod holders on the port and starboard side of the hard top. And on either side of the live well, you'll find two more rod holders for rigging tackle. Now all the great seating gives you plenty of comfort for family cruising. But you'll also find underneath the console a changing room with plenty of room to install a portable head. It's snook season in Florida right now, and I'm going to take a few casts for them here in the inshore bay waters of Tampa Bay. But the winds are supposed to lay down tomorrow, and the kingfish are biting. I'm going to go after them tomorrow. That's what the 2510 Bay Ranger is all about. I'm Randy Vance.